welcome to the new week this orchid just opened up so i tried making a vlog yesterday a couple of times and it just it just wasn't working i don't know why i wasn't feeling it so i'm trying again today um oh i guess the lights aren't on in here yet maybe i needed to adjust them since that daylight savings time happened or whatever it is but you know maybe i'll maybe i'll even give them less hours under the light and see if it helps my electric bill. Look at all that Peter Giamato pictures. Um, well, this explains why they're on so late at night, too. <laughs> uh, I actually had a jalapeno that ripened and it was red, so I picked it off and ate it. And it, you know, it these say that they're uh, mild Italian, uh, like jalapenos, de, de Guido, I think. I don't know how to pronounce it. Degado, Degido, jalapenos. Um, that the Italians uh, mixed jalapenos with something that's milder, and that's that's how they came about. Uh, so I ate it, and it wasn't spicy at all, and it did have a jalapeno flavor. It was pretty amazing. So uh, those houses are going to be huge. Uh, whoever's going to be living in them is going to be staring straight into my uh windows here which i'm not the happiest about uh and staring at me in my garden <laughs> which i'm also not too happy about anyway so oh there's a squirrel on that stump uh i did the mowing yesterday so uh my legs are completely exhausted i can barely walk around i I have all sorts of housework to do today that I'm not sure I'll be able to get to. Maybe maybe if I get moving, it'll improve. Um, you know, I always look at the color of my yard versus the neighbor's yards because they fertilize a lot and stuff. And, you know, mine, mine is a good green. So over where there's the... Where I roped off that section for putting down flower seeds. I didn't mow that. Hopefully the flowers grow in and it's not just overgrown grass. <laughs> Georgie's trying to get in here scratching the door. Um, so yesterday I was out in the garden trying to make a vlog. And you, you know, not too much happened since the last time that I was out there. That we, we looked out there in these vlogs. But I did... Um, you know how you get sick of taking care of plants when you have too many? So I got sick of taking care of so much on the porch because of the squirrel attacks, digging at the pots, and then because of watering them and everything. So I actually planted out the cabbages, parsley, dandelions, and that big long planter of the spicy greens out there. The day before, we were supposed to have a big... Uh, that big storm that was pulling through last week and it was just windy it barely rained so uh, I think it was Thursday that it was supposed to rain all day long and by the time midday came around they kept pushing back and back the the rain forecast so I actually took my watering can and watered those things in a little bit so uh, yet another year of it says it's gonna rain but it doesn't actually so I gotta go water stuff so uh, Georgie you're so bad. Hopefully I don't scare that birdie. Oh, it's blue. Blue on the back and red on the belly. Georgie, I hope you didn't actually break in. I hope this doesn't mean that you're going to break in all the time now. Oh, good. Georgie, stop being bad. <laughs> So, uh, what else? So, um, I have those seedlings inside. They're growing in okay. Uh, I'm not sure much else has happened. You know, maybe I'm having a hard time doing a vlog because not too much has happened. Um, two days ago, no, maybe three or four days ago now because I lose track of days, right? So maybe three or four days ago now, uh, the shipment that included the fruit cocktail tree and the mixed mirabelles and the sea berries, a replacement honey berry, because the spring blooming ones, they said didn't survive or didn't root or something. So I have one spring blooming one that is currently blooming in my garden, honey berry, that is once again this year not gonna set fruit and I can't do anything about it, which really bites. But l luckily, uh, and by spring, I 
I guess I mean the early blooming one, the later blooming one that blooms in maybe like a month or something. So it's mismatched in my garden right now. So the later blooming one, they said that they they had it to ship. So that is in the mail right now. So hopefully I get some honeyberries this year. It's it's killing me having something blooming and it's not gonna set fruit. I didn't I didn't buy them for show, I bought them for eating. Uh what else? Uh Oh, and the replacement salmon berry. So those are coming. Uh, I don't know how my back feels about that. I think it doesn't feel good about that. Um, I was thinking about espalier because for some reason I really like it. So I might actually grow those trees depending on depending how on how they grafted stuff. Georgie, are you being good or bad? Georgie, are you being good or bad, Georgie? probably bad right so I was thinking of growing you see the the white the white planters on either side in the back of my garden there I was thinking um if if they were grafted sort of close to being on a plane those fruit trees I was going to plant them behind those strawberry planters and then espalier them out like fan shaped not like square shaped I'd have to put in more of those metal poles, but I just bought more of those metal poles and then uh, string wires through the holes in them um, connected with eye, with like the, the like eye and hook, right? With the, the eye screw in um, like circle metal things on the, on the wooden poles so that uh it'll it'll be like when people do the wire stringing on brick walls to espalier the trees but i'm gonna try it in the garden as it is and then i'll have a nice wall in the back to protect the view from the tall houses that are going in um the pears haven't shipped yet right i was gonna put them in there um because the neighbor had planted those maple trees there. So the maple trees will force the pears to grow into my yard and then his trees into his yard. And then life ought to be swell. Um, what else was in that pear tree shipment? Oh, a replacement pomegranate for the one that I think died in the front yard too. <laughs> Maybe that's why I had a hard time doing doing this one. It's, it's sort of uh, complaining about things that died and uh, things going on about my yard. Well, th things that I think are invading my yard, but I mean, if your house is your castle, you got to protect the castle from invasions. So uh, today I still got to water all the indoor plants. I haven't watered them yet. Oh, what happened last week? I don't know if I mentioned it last week. Do you see how the seed pot is gone? It had opened. Cause they ripened i don't know if they dropped a lot all over the place but it was um what was it speculata by hamada cross with spectabilis by telangensis and i put it in this pygmy do container the ones that i got in from warren i don't know if it'll if the magic pygmy do uh that worked in these containers like that little nepenthes right there i don't know if the magic that work in these containers will also work in that container because they're not hatching right now they already hatched but hopefully rooting hormones from that will be going around so i opened these up too because they looked kind of scraggly and i wasn't sure why and i was thinking maybe it's because of uh being in a closed environment so these ones look super bad and i'm not sure why um so i've ooh, maybe i shouldn't have flooded this like a swamp so hard so I've been flooding them with lots of water while I've been getting them used to lower humidity of not being in a closed container. Uh, and I'm trying to stay on top of watering this thing still and all of the other seedlings. I guess I gotta remember to come in here twice a week, but I don't always. And I'd move this down to the other shelf over here, but then I moved these Nepenthes in that were on top of there. Cause I think they didn't like it because of the heat vent right there. So I think I mean, these are these are Highlanders, so of course they wouldn't like it really hot. So I think it was just too much for them because a lot of them started looking scraggly and unhappy. So I moved these down so this guy wasn't getting enough light, so he's back on this top shelf under that white light. These are um, Venus flytrap seedlings. I don't know if you can see it, but 
the the seeds that I had planted on this pot from last year's uh, seed heads that I made out in the garden are hatching and I'm excited. So the batch that I still had from San Diego, uh, they died on their first winter here, which is really sad because they were Korean Melody Shark seedlings and they were going to be really interesting, but these ones are from the interesting cultivars that I still have left. So it's not like it's gonna, I mean, a nicely grown Venus flytrap is never ugly, even if it's quote unquote regular. So um, I think these are from the bigger seedlings, like the bigger um, cultivars that I have and also the red ones. And I think Scarletine went into this mix too. So we'll see. Georgie, why are you crying? <laughs> so, um, that's it for this week. Uh, maybe I'll have more to talk about next week, but <laughs> I'm exhausted and I have to figure out how to water all of this stuff while fighting the exhaustion. I don't know if I showed you that I strung that guy up, the passion fruit. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, back, back to relaxing for maybe like another hour to see if it makes me feel any better. You'd, you'd think that I would feel better after, um, sleeping all night long, but that is not the case. <laughs> Mr. Short Stuff, don't fall on those orchids. Okay, till next week.